Western civilization has become weak, ladies and gentlemen, and it has been made weak deliberately. So we're going to talk about that today on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and watch. I don't know if you've all noticed that the Western civilization, probably since the 60s, uh, has become weak uh, and has been a deliberate attempt to um, make Western civilization weak. I'm going to list a few things here, so I hope you don't mind. I'll put my glasses on for a second. Just have a little... I believe it all started uh, in, in the late 60s. It began to, to start with the destruction of the family. And there was a kind of a, a movement in the 60s that was against uh, discipline. There's no discipline. That was a whole big thing, you know, that was to be removed from schools and the home, you know. And then that began to produce generations of utterly obnoxious people who obviously grew up to become social justice warriors and anti-fa and all these uh, obnoxious assholes we see running around our societies today and that was part of the destruction of the family, the destruction of the nuclear family, the removal of the father from the house, the, you know like divorce, um, abortion, all these kind of issues over and over again. So there's been a huge attack upon all that and there's also been a huge attack upon um, religion and Christianity as the traditional basis of Western civilization. So Christianity has been constantly under attack um, over and over again. Um, they want to remove uh, people going to church. Church was made uncool. I mean, I'm not going to say church has always been cool. I never was not a particular fan of it um, growing up, but um, I grew to um, like it, um, I guess, as an adult uh, after I came back to it. You know, I think something like religion and theology is something you come back to. Uh, but there was a deliberate attempt to destroy religion that's been going on uh, for 30 or 40 years in Western civilization. There was outsourcing of jobs, our uh, jobs. You know, there was this decision that industry and uh, manufacturing was to be taken from here and um, taken to third world countries, um, whether it be in America, say to Mexico, or in Australia to China and countries like Bangladesh. And this is where they could pay people a dollar a day. I mean, they talk about wanting to end slavery. People in these countries are, particularly in people like, countries like Bangladesh, are being paid a dollar a day. And if you ring up, I don't know if you have a problem with Telstra, you ring up a call center and you go, where is it? It's in South uh, Africa or it's in the Philippines or something. You're talking to people not in this country when these jobs should be in Australia. So there's the whole movement with like uh, outsourcing that's weakened our nations that began, particularly in Australia with the Lima Agreement. Um, there's uh, multiculturalism, obviously that was began by Al Grasby in Australia. That's another thing that weakens our country. It, diversity is not a strength, it's a weakness. It's all about weakening our nation. It's all about making us weaker and um, more divided, more fragmented. Um, and, um, and then there is, um, you know, the climate change lie that they're constantly pushing, you know, that like green energy is the solution. And even their own, even the less own guy, Michael Moore, recently revealed with his documentary The Planet of the Humans that green energy is not going to save anybody, that it's a fraud put together by the same elitists who, uh, who were the people polluting our planet to begin with. Um, and then there's the media. The media is constantly pushing agendas on us that, that are about weakness, weakness. So this is all a deliberate. This is all the cabal trying to weaken our civilizations and um, why are they doing that okay well why would you weaken civilizations okay because you want to destroy them uh, or you want to destabilize them I believe actually it's the balkanization of Western civilization they want to smash it up in a little bit and if you look at what the cabal did in the Middle East after 9-11 after they committed 9-11 they smashed up all the various little countries like Iraq and they've tried to do it in Syria and obviously Lebanon and they did it in in, in um, uh, what's the other? they're trying to do it in Iran obviously they did it in Afghanistan they're trying to smash these countries up and to destroy them, to make them no threat to anybody. And they're trying to do the same thing to us. It's all about balkanization. It's all about destabilization and destruction. And um, the main, um, I guess, bad cop on the block is China. China is being set up as the major world power. And obviously they have, they've had none of this weakness um, pushed upon them. All those agendas that I just listed to you, China has not had a single one of them. They still have very traditional parody. They still have their own, well, their religion is Marxism now, Maoism. They haven't outsourced their jobs. They have all their jobs in their own countries. They are not multicultural. Their media is absolutely controlled by China and it's all about Chinese people. And they don't believe climate change or any of the other bullshit that we get pushed on us. They just do whatever the fuck they want and they don't give a shit about anybody else but the Chinese. So, you know, and they're extremely nationalist as well. So, you know, this is just, it goes to show that this, all this agenda that we've been pushed on it is a deliberate lie, is a deliberate 
attempt to weaken us and we need to realize that because when someone is trying to weaken you you need to reject all those agendas traditionalism that's why traditionalism in the conservatism in a broader perspective is the solution to get us back off the road to weakness to begin to save western civilization to begin to put statues back up like donald trump announced at Mount Rushmore. That's what we need to do. I mean, if they're going to knock down 10 statues, let's put up a fucking 100, mate. Let's create giant parks of statues dedicated to the great people of Western civilization. Because believe me, we have thousands of people who we could have statues of, you know. Some of them deeply political correct, deeply politically incorrect. Let's put those up, you know. So let's have some fun. Let's move Western civilization off the globalist track to destruction and move it onto the nationalist track towards um, palingenetic renewal, towards bringing our societies back to coherence, um, dominance and hegemony. And we don't want to give power away to China. We want to maintain our hegemony. We can share power with China. China is a force to be reckoned with and so is Russia. We need a multipolar world, ladies and gentlemen. That's the future, not globalism. A world where the three or four major powers on the planet share power and we live in peace and we ignore the globalists who want to divide everybody and have endless war, endless poverty and endless destruction. We need to sideline them. Thank you for listening, ladies and gentlemen.